All right, so this is the moment of truth where I show everyone who's the real hero in town or in the village in this case. My God, he won ugly dude. This dude right there, hideous. Oh my God. Anyways, boss, a so-called boss. So, I think I already talked about this before. I am, uh, so yeah, as some of you might know already, or if you, as for you who don't understand it yet, then I do a little practice record, well, not practice recording, but, but a little practice of the game and trying out the levels, right? Just a bit. I could need a little bit. Just in case so Oh my god. I just made it inside. But anyways, yeah. A little practice so I know what I'm doing and I can give out a proper and nice mate homemade video. Just like mama used to do. But I don't I just had to say it like that. You know how we say when uh, it's homemade and about food and such and when mama used to, I fucking dropped in the darn lava. It doesn't matter, but that Because I was I had a few things to talk about so now I have a little more time to talk about so Yeah, so the way you just say things are homemade about food and such and it tastes better Yeah, making a better video than homemade, you know, I, anyway so I Think I've been talking about this already honestly, I think but if I don't, then I'll repeat myself. I am rather disappointed. Because uh, I did have my little practice around. I always have my little practice in this game to make these nice videos, as I already stated. But what I'm really disappointed about is to think this was made, this game was made by Natty Dog, who also, which we all know and love, them for also made crash right right it was a bad hit I took right there but uh, we can still do it we can still use it though I would have been happy if I didn't get me. oh my god whoa oh, oh, that was close but yeah all those crash games well the three crash games and the team and team racing right great games and great concept to the bosses but making this a boss it's so so low qual it's such a low quality boss barely anything changes and crash it, it would change whenever you got a hit or anything on the boss right oh shit wow that's close and such but this game no nothing well, a few things changes, of course. Well, really only the fact that the platform here is... A few platforms are missing, but... Uh, it's very much the same, over and over. I've just been doing the same shit, literally. And that's the boss done. Very boring and very simple. Here's our power cell. At least, we're not done with this part yet. Not yet. Mountain Pass. Well, it it kind of claims we just entered Mountain Pass, but um, that's not true. Um, the boss is kind of part of Mountain Pass, so that's why we'll continue this part. Oh my! Those workers must be headed for a detonator at the end of the canyon. If they reach it before you do, they'll blow up the entire pass. You've got to beat them there and destroy the detonator, or it's all over. 
Okay, I got so yeah, these uh, lurkers here, they're nothing special. No, no, we, we, do, we don't even have to pay attention. We just uh, that much to them. We just have to finish before them. But they have they have to get well. In a way, it makes sense. But um, they're the evil guys, so why would they care? Evil guys sacrifice their own normally. Okay, we will have to go. Here. Actually, I'll show you guys since I since why not, right? I'll show you guys what happens when you don't make it before these lurkers do it. But uh, again, bad guys, right? And we might also collect a few things on our path. But bad guys always sacrifice each other and don't care for each other. So there's a lurker on the other side of this road waiting to detonate all these bombs that we've seen so far. But he's just waiting until these lurkers get to the point. Which kinda in my head is ridiculous because uh, why would he care? Like I said, bad guys, they should uh, not care for each other, right? Alright, well, who knows? Maybe these lurkers do. And that, that's just how the game is. Or these lurkers could just say, hey, we're not coming. We, we find another way. And uh, yeah. So that's what happens when you don't make it. Now since we, uh, well, three, three, seven scatterflies, we have six already, and um, then we missed eight orbs. We, we're gonna find them. But uh, yeah, mountain pass will be all that I can do for this part, since uh, we won't be able to complete the next uh, area section that we entered. So yeah, but this is no big deal. Oh my God. And it doesn't matter if you go up there or down here, actually. But yeah, so I want to comment so much about that because that lurker, right, at the uh, at the other side, he, he first he has to spit in his own hand, get ready to blow it up, and then laugh a little, and then he blows it up. He's like the way he's so slow about doing it uh, makes it a little more ridiculous. But uh, hey, it's a kids' game, so. Yeah, I'm just pointing out the things that would not happen, but um, I'm not a, I'm not a critic or anything and Those bombs are insta kills, right? So let me do this again Ugh. So we had six more and one scout fly. The scout fly is at the end and most likely these are orbs are as well But yeah, it's a kids game. So I don't mind it. Of course of course, I, I'm I'm no critic, and uh, it's just a game. In the end, we all know, well, we should all know that uh, game logic. There's there's no such word. Game logic, no, n that word doesn't exist. In well, developers do try to make it, but uh, in the end, we all know that at one point. Will, someone will find something that doesn't make sense and then some people might be oh it doesn't make sense uh, so unrealistic uh, well whatever I'm not like that so that's what it matters for me so I'll just focus on my game I barely saw that orb and look who we got here he's not that fast don't worry about it if I die now I don't want to restart this point again but um five orbs and one scout fly and then we actually done with the with the part yeah i know it's a short part but um that's how it must be for now or oh there you go i barely saw it and the scout fly is hiding right there just got it but i will tell you about something when we finish this race oh my god no no you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me. There we go. We from up the pad. So despite we stopped him, here comes the lurkers, which we couldn't even kill. And uh, our power cell! I mean, I said, our power cell! There we go. Ha! <laughs> so, let's have a look, once again. In a small bit. Go turn on the 
teleport gate so we can join you. Well, we will do that, but let me just talk about this little thing here. There's um there's that missing parcel. We are not uh, uh, capable of getting it at this point. Not at all. 69 parcels. <laughs> but uh and 68%. Wow. We're almost done. But we can't get that power cell because um, somewhere in the path, we'll get to it. Um, we need the yellow eco to shoot down a rock which blocks a passage to the hidden power cell. I'll show you when we can get it, whenever we can. But uh, for now, we just have to move on and uh, that will be it. How do we get the yellow eco on the path? I will show you when it gets to that point. When we get to that point. But here we have volcanic crater, volcanic crater. There, it's now it sounds better. Um, actually, let me just turn on the thing, and that should be it for this part. Volcanic crater will not be our next thing to do. It will be something completely different, completely opposite from volcanic crater. Anyways, let's just get this done. Body parts in those things. Hmm. Holy yakow! The red sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The red sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the dark eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guest. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eco can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursor. Until now, we've had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the dark ego of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your zoomer seat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. So that was what, that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, that's I it for this part. Have gotten in over their heads. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I didn't even present myself in the beginning. Shh. I, I'm talking, okay? Anyways, I'm Hey Dead Zanzine. Yeah, I should have said this in the beginning, but that's how it is. This is... This was another part of Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next part. Peace!